filling in for Moshiks today, it's Michael Richmond, or as you may know me, Mr. Spock One. Today we have special guest, Professor René Ferlong, to offer us a guided tour through how to set up and use UTS and VM370. So without further ado, I will hand things over to the professor. Take it away. Hello, this is René from Montreal, and this is the first of two videos about Amdahl UTS, an old discontinued Unix operating system that runs under VM370. In this video, I just want to install and run the system. In the second one, I'm going to log into the system, add a disk, and uh, create a guest account and explore a little bit the system with you. Okay, so let's go on. The first, one, uh, first thing I want to say is that I'm not going to sysgen the system. I'm just going to download a DASD containing the system already sysgen. Uh, this is available from Moshix GitHub. And then I'm going to download a VM370, the latest release, and install the whole thing there. So let's do that. First of all, we go to Moshix uh, GitHub. We look at the repos over there. There's a bunch of them. And then we go down progressively. And then we have this uh, repo UTS here. Uh, you, you can see a link to an original uh, distribution that was saved uh, somewhere on the internet. Uh, but uh, here's the disk, you know, UTS 150. BZ2, that's the disk containing a system already sysgen. They, it's written here that's a 2314, but it's not a 2314, it's a 3330 actually. Uh, and then we're going to need not only this disk, but of course the uh, directory entry because we're going to run uh, the whole thing under VM370. So if you want to go on, first download this and unzip it and copy this thing into a file, which I already did, of course. So here's the disk uh, unzip, on bzip, maybe. And here's a copy of the directory entry. I'm going to create another folder, UTS, like this. And I'm going to put this disk there and this guy there. OK. Uh, maybe I'm going to immediately uh, work on this uh, these files so let's open uh, oh okay no not this one uh, maybe an Hercules window like this let's go to the desktop uh, UTS all right now uh, I'm gonna change the name UTS uh, 150 to UTS sys 150 just because UTS sys is actually the volser of that DASD, so I find uh, more convenient to have an emulated DASD file that has the same name as the volser. And then I'm going to edit uh, the directory entry. Uh, okay, so first I want to add a user ID uh, card at the beginning so that I can transfer this uh, directory entry to the main virtual machine on VM370. And then I'm going to change the class here because I uh, for a star, because I want uh, UTS to handle a file of any class in the reader, not just the, the one of class A. But it's a personal choice. And of course, as I said in the second video, I'm going to add a DASD or disk where I'm going to store actually the uh, user account uh, directories, you know, so, uh, but uh, this is not a plug and play system. So you need to have these DASD or this DASD to be already present in the configuration of the virtual machine and also on the VM370. So that what I'm going to do now. So let's uh, add one, let's say on 151. And I'm going to call it, uh, well, USR, or maybe U00 if you plan to have more. 
Uh, that's one thing, and I also need a, a mini disk here. Uh, 770. I'm gonna show you why I use this uh, a little bit later in the second video, actually. Uh, now remember, and uh, on VM, stay away from cylinder zero. So if you have a mini disk. And you want to start at the beginning of the DASD, always start from st from a cylinder 1, never from cylinder 0. And then I'm going to use the whole DASD for these uh, user accounts. So that's going to be a, whoop, 403 uh, cylinders. And of course it's uh, UTS USR like this. All right, so I have my second DASD. My second mini disk. I think it's okay. All right. Let's uh, hide this for the moment. Next step is to download VM370. Fortunately for us, there were recent developments with VM370, and in particular, there is a, a latest release called VM370 Community Edition. That's a very good release. I recommend that you use this one from now on and forget about six pack one two or even my own six pack extended this one is really good it has a good rex on it it has a good uh, gcc and further development will be done on this community edition that's a, so that's a, a good a good choice so you go to the site vm370.org you choose that tab uh, vm370 here to select the latest one which is release one one there's a bunch of information here, which I suggest that you read uh, a little, just to learn a little bit more about the distribution. And then at the very bottom, you have a zip file containing the, distribu the distribution. So download this and unzip, which I did, of course. So here's the folder. And when you have it, put that UTS in there, okay? And now, where am I? Okay, so maybe this, and then VM. Okay, CD, desktop, uh, VM, like this. All right, now what I need to do, of course, is to not only uh, add the DASDs to the directory entry, but also to the, Incur the Hercules uh, configuration file. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy the configuration file <coughs> to uh, let's say hercules.cnf uh, that's my way to work you're not uh, forced to do that but this is what, how I work and then I'm gonna edit this guy now uh, the first thing is to look at this statement arch level here uh, this is a statement that is understood only by uh, Fish Hyperion. So if you run Hercules with the classic uh, Hercules 313 like, like I do, this statement is not understood and as a result the VM will not IPL properly. So you have to change this to uh, Arch mode. If you're running with the, if you're working with Hyperion, Hyperion uh, don't change it, or even if you change it, it's going to be okay. And then later here, again, if you're working with Hyperion, you should leave this, but uh, I'm not, so I'm just uh, comment this thing. Okay. Next, I have to add the, the DASDs, so let's do that. I'm going to go down and maybe here just before the dedicated DOS VS devices. Maybe I'm gonna add the DASD there. So it's gonna be 0, 1, 50, 33, 30, UTS slash UTS sys dot 150. And then I'm gonna add another one, 151, E30. UTS dash UTS USR. Good. 
that's the right numbers. Okay. Of course, I haven't created that DASD, so let's go to UTS and let's do a DASD init. UTS USR 3330 UTS USR. Good. And now uh, let's start Hercules on the Hercules configuration file. Okay. When you have this uh, enable all done, the IPL is done. As you can see, there is a new uh, wake up uh, virtual machine here. There's the CP watch, the CMS batch, but there's also that wake up. Uh, so it's interesting. Let's check. Let's maybe start the unit record devices. Although I don't think I'm going to use them for the moment, but anyway. And then let's check about the DSDs. Okay. Okay, so we have our two DASDs uh, on the system. This VM370 knows about them. So now we need to update the directory uh, to add the virtual machine. So I'm going to start a session, a VM session here. Okay, on maint. Log on maint. CPCMS. Uh, the the content of that virtual machine has been completely revised, so the structure is slightly different from uh, the six pack one two or one three, but I think it's for the best. Honestly, I like it better this way. So it's uh, if you look at B, I believe there's a bunch of exec and uh, two memo files there that's gonna give some information about. Uh, the new organization of VM370 uh, Community Edition. I'm not going to do that uh, right now, but uh, if you are downloading this for the first time, it might be a good uh, reading for you. Okay, so I need to uh, update the directory. Now the directory is this file uh, user direct here. So uh, faithful to my uh, t my method, I'm gonna copy this, maybe, into let's say Ferlin direct, okay, and I'm gonna edit Ferlin instead of the original file, but I need to uh, transfer the UTS directory entry first, so let's do that here. Read, uh, not read, uh, dev in it. You will see UTS. Uh, directory and the file. I needed to start it because the, those unit record devices, because otherwise the, the read would not have worked. Uh, now that I have that, let's read card UTS direct and let's edit Farlin direct. I go to the bottom. I get UTS direct, I save and I quit, then I do direct Ferla, it worked, then I erase UTS direct, all right, and now <coughs> I need to do another thing, because if I go there, <coughs> if I try to log on, uh, to maybe we can just try it for the sake of it. Say you go to UTS, Amdol, you see uh, the DASDs are not mounted, so it's not going to work. We need to mount the DASDs, so let's log off. Uh, that's because on uh, six pack uh, one two the DASD were mounted automatically, but apparently this is a this is a bug. So the bug was fixed, and now they're not mounted automatically. So you have either to change um, the uh, hardware configuration with the DMK, no, not DMKRIO, but DMKSYS. 
or you can also uh, update the auto exec uh, the profile exec of auto log one that's what i'm going to do so uh, you see at the beginning here auto logon uh, there's a bunch of auto logon and drain operation done here so we're going to add instructions to mount the dasds of attach the dasds of uh, uts to the system because they are free right now and then uh, start the uh, the virtual machine uh, the uts virtual machine so let's do that i'm gonna link to autolog 1191 on let's say 397 i'm um, r malt i'm gonna access 397 on z and then I'm going to edit profile exec z. Now there's a bunch of instructions in there. Mm, I guess five. I'm going to put the instructions over here. Okay, so, uh, as you can see, there is the auto log of CMS batch and uh, wake up. That's uh, what's happening here. So, what we're going to do, we're going to attach the DASDs to the system here and autolog UTS. So let's do that. I3 uh, CP attach 150 to system as UTS sys CP attach 151 to system as UTS USR and let's, whoop, not VP, CP. And let's CP autolog uh, UTS Amdol and auto UTS. That's the parameter. Uh, UTS is very, uh, if you try to log on to UTS, to start the system, it's going to disconnect uh, automatically. It's uh, organized to run in disconnect, uh, disconnected mode anyway. So since UTS uh, expect its uh, console to be disconnected, the right, uh, uh, a convenient way to start it is to use uh, autolog anyway. So this way it's going to start and it's going to be able. To, if you want to log on to UTS, you're going to have to dial the virtual machine that's what we're gonna do okay so let me save this and quit then i'm gonna release z and detach the dasd i'm gonna log off and i need to re-ipl because i want to uh, run this auto uh, this profile exec a second time so let's shut down stop uh, maybe quit and I'm gonna start all over again. Okay, so we have these messages to the effect that the DASDs were attached to the system. Okay, and uh, UTS so to log uh, properly. Start now. Let's see what happened. Uh, I'm going to use maybe a TSO like this, just to make the distinction. Let's dial UTS. You have a name, that's, so that's the uh, username. Let's log on to root. The password is root. We have the sharp uh, prompt, as expected. If I do ls-l, I can see uh, the slash. Uh, directory of a Unix system. Okay, so apparently it works fine. So I'm not going to continue. I'm going to stop the video for the moment at this point. What we're going to do now, and the next one is to add this uh, user DASD to the system and uh, create a guest account and explore a little bit more what's in there. Okay, so let me, uh, how do you quit this? Uh, on Unix, it's typically exit, but I'm not sure it's working. Huh? See, it's not. What you have to do is log off, actually. This will exit the account and drop you from the dial. See? And you're okay. So 
So we log off like we log off on a CMS uh, virtual machine. Okay, so I'm going to stop here and uh, see you in the next uh, video.